Hello guys, this is Karthik from executeautomation.com and welcome to the all new series of our ALM with Team Foundation server. And this video series is called as ALM with Team Foundation server with dev and QA focused. And in this video, we're going to talk an introduction to Team Foundation server. I have split this particular video as two parts, which is part A and part B since the introduction itself is going to cover a lot of details on Team Foundation Server. So let's get started. Introduction. Team Foundation Server is in fact a really huge system. Well, in a nutshell, Team Foundation Server provides a set of collaboration tools that works with your existing IDE or editors. So your team can work effectively on software project of all shapes and sizes. I took this from Microsoft site. Well, Team Foundation Server is more of a version control system, requirement management system, project management system, and a automated build management systems, testing and release management system, and all the above or otherwise called as application lifecycle management system. So as you can see, all the above systems like version control, requirement, project management, and automated build management, testing and release management, these are one of the most important stepping stones and heart of any software development. And all of them are actually included in your Team Foundation Server. And that's why I mean that Team Foundation Server is a collaboration of tool that works with your existing IDE. So do you mean it's a mix of all? Well, yep, it is. So Team Foundation Server as a version control, but actually it's not. Because many people confuse that the Team Foundation Server is a versioning control system. Of course, gone are those days with Microsoft Visual Source Safe, or otherwise called as VSS, where we check in the course and it stores data in a terrific technology in the backend. Of course, you might see that the visual source if is always slow, and if you try to save a file, it takes a lot of time. Of course, it saves some time and some time not. But with TFS, all the codes are stored by a powerful and one of the most known SQL server. This is where all the data of your code, your work items, your backlogs, your PBIs, whatever you call it, everything sits in this SQL. Well, we'll talk about the work item, PBIs, test cases, and all those things in upcoming videos of this video series. But as of now, just keep in mind that TFS stores all of them in SQL Server. It's not like VSS. And we can also check in and check out our code with TFS within Visual Studio IDE, provided you have Visual Studio at least and Team Explorer available in it. Well, of course, it's there out of the box. And we can do branching, merging, comparing code, labeling, shelving our code using TFS and all those things. Of course, these are one of the most important options available within your Team Foundation server. That's why I said TFS is not just a version control system. This is one of the part of the Team Foundation server. And requirement management. So using Team Foundation server, we can do a creation of a list of requirements which you require for your project by means of creating some of these stories. And of course, these stories, these planning, these requirements, and the sprints, the backlog items, and all those things is under some of the process templates. Of course, we'll talk about the process templates in upcoming videos of this video series. But the process templates are, some of the examples of process templates are like Scrum, process template and CMM I process template and all those things but we will talk about a scrum process template in this video series and of course as you can see the team foundation server itself has a list of requirement gathering stuffs and you can gather all the requirement and put them in this stories and these stories can also have a lot of PBIs and the PBIs is otherwise called as product backlog item and this product backlog items will have tasks and it will have tasks like the dev activities and what you're going to develop in the code and the test cases where the 
testers write uh, some of the test cases and they uh, associate that with a work item and they can also have some child items and all those things of course again we'll discuss all those work items checking in the code creating the test cases creating a bug for the particular task and all those things are not things in the upcoming videos of this video series but as of now just keep in mind that you can do a complete requirement management with team foundation server and then project management so using TFS one can do a very clear project management since every team member in the project will be on the same page so since TFS web interface will be so cool that you can get all the information you need and it looks something like this it will have a complete interface something like this and you can see that it will have some recent projects and teams and you, of course this particular screenshot doesn't uh, show you any kind of project but you can associate uh, a project or many project collections uh, into this and uh, into this portal and you can have multiple uh, members in this particular uh, project and you can also create some rooms and there are a lot of other options available in this team foundation server web edition but as of now i have not disclosed any one of them because we will be discussing about that in a separate video of this video series but as of now keep in mind that team foundation server has got lots and lots and lots of options for developing your software so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day